Hello, dear friends. Very happy to be with you on this second Sunday in Ordinary Time. Uh, you probably see this white patch. Uh, that was a little surgery I had, removing a, a kind of a pre-cancerous sun uh, developed little tumor, but it's all gone and they got it all. They're sure of that. So all is well, not to worry. But I begin with a, a little exclamation. Is it really true? Are we really or in ordinary time already? What happened to Christmas and all those special feasts that help us celebrate the wondrous mystery of the incarnation, the birth of Christ? Yet here we are, firmly planted in these many Sundays known as ordinary time. Still, as I've heard so many times, there's nothing ordinary at all about ordinary time. In our readings for this Sunday, we hear these beautiful words spoken by the Lord to Isaiah. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. Imagine that, a light to the nations. What amazing words. Words that are spoken, however, not only to Isaiah, but to all of us as people of faith. These words remind us of the star shining in the heavens, calling the three kings to the birthplace of the Messiah. Wise men, guided by the light, touched by the light, even driven to change their lives by God's holy light. And many years before the birth of Jesus, Isaiah is told that he too would become a light, a light to the nations as he fulfills the mission given him by God to restore faith and hope in the people of Israel. On this ordinary Sunday, we too receive this message from the Lord. We're called to be a light to the nations. And how do we do this? By witnessing our faith and sharing with all whom we meet the good news that Jesus is Lord. We are invited to remind everyone that when we walk in the light of Christ, it can make a real difference in day-to-day -day life. Isn't this what St. Paul means when he tells us in his letter to the Corinthians that we have all been sanctified in Christ Jesus and called to be holy, even as we call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and lastly, our beautiful passage from the Gospel of John. John narrates that special moment when, G when John the Baptist first saw Jesus walking toward him by the Jordan River. We don't know if Jesus really ever knew his cousin as they were growing up before this extraordinary baptismal event, but we can only imagine how moved the Baptist was to finally see the one who was filled with the Spirit, the one who is truly the Son of God. Here is Jesus in plain sight. Surely John's heart would have been filled with the words spoken by his own father, Zechariah, when he cried out his song about his beloved son, John the Baptist. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. What an extraordinary moment. And we too are invited to think about this on this ordinary Sunday. We can all fall to our knees and cry out with John the baptizer, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. So God bless you all on this ordinary Sunday but open your heart to the many extraordinary gifts the Lord wants to give you this day. God bless you.